Hello everyone, welcome to the lesson. In this lesson I want us to solve a question on quartile deviation of a group data. We shall use the question. Uh, this is question number 8, paper 2, KCC 2010. The question is here. The height in centimeters of 100 tree seedlings are shown in the table below. The height is given there. The number of seedlings are given. So we're supposed to find the quartile deviation of the height. Now this one is a group data. So how do we get the quartile deviation? Uh, one thing to know is that quartile deviation is also referred to as um, so quartile quartile deviation has another name also referred to as semi inter quartile range and to get these this is the formula so quartile deviation i will note this one by qd is given by q3 which is the upper quartile subtract the q1 which is the lower quartile then get the uh, divide that on by two so this is how we get the quartile deviation or semi interquartile range now i like um, to organize this table so that it is um, not in horizontal form it is in um, vertical form I find it easier to work it like that and I've done it here so I'll need to introduce another column for cumulative frequency you must get this uh, so cumulative frequency you know how we get it so the first frequency is 9 so you go adding 9 plus 16 you get 25 this is how you get the cumulative frequency then 25 plus 19 this one will give uh, 44 44 plus 26 this will give 70 70 plus 20 you get 90 then 90 plus 10 you get 100 that is how you get cumulative frequency now we start by getting the upper quartile which is uh, q3 to get q3 uh, the position of q3 the upper quartile be given by three quarters of the total frequency total frequency is 100 times 100 and we'll get the q3 in the 75th position now we need to identify that class that is um, in the 75th position uh, where do we have 75th position it is here it will be here this is where it will lie 75th position where we have 90 so the class will therefore be 50 to 59 that is the class where we shall get the upper quartile now upon getting that to calculate q3 uh, we shall use the formula so q3 therefore will be given by l or i'll explain what you mean by these plus three quarters of n minus cf everything divided by f frequency then multiply by i now this is the formula that we use to get q3 of a group data l refers to the lower class limit of the of this class that you have identified where um, we have the upper quartile the lower class limit then three quarters of um, n is the position of the upper quartile we've already got this one three quarters of total frequency is denoted by n then cf is the cumulative frequency above that class where we have identified the 75th uh, position of this class the up the cumulative frequency above this class 50 to 59 then f is the frequency of that class then i is the class size so substituting those values lower class limit of this class you just subtract 50 subtract 0 0.5 so this will be 49.5 plus three quarters of n we have already calculated here and that one will give 75 cumulative frequency above that class this is the class cumulative frequency above that, that class is 70 then frequency of that class is um, 20 frequency of that class is 20 then multiply by the class size and the class size you get it by just taking this class uh, the upper class limit that is 59.5 subtract 49.5 and this will give 10 the class size is 10 
So the upper class limit 59.5 subtract the lower class limit. That is how you get the class size. You get the class size is 10. Now working out these, you get 49.5 plus 75 minus 7. This will give 5 over 20. Multiply by 10. So this will give like that. And then you shall have mm, this one will give. 49.5 plus this will be 2.5 and uh, when you add this this will give uh, 52 when you add that you get 52 so that is how you get the upper quartile now we can go to the lower quartile now uh, the lower quartile that is a q1 lower quartile uh, is given by the position of the lower quartile is uh, 1 over 4 of the total frequency which is uh, 100 and this will we'll find it in the 25th position so let's go to the table and identify the class where you get q1 where is 25th position is already here so direct uh, so these were these are the classes q1 20 to 29 so that class is 20 to 29 so having that now we use the same formula uh, q1 will be given by l plus a quarter n minus cf divided by f then multiply by i of course uh, the lower class limit of this class will be 19.5 just take 20 subtract 0 0.5 you get 19.5 then plus a quarter n is 25 cumulative frequency above that class cumulative frequency above that class this is a class cumulative frequency is 9 as you can see there is 9 then frequency of that class a frequency of that class is 16 this is 16 then multiply by the class size is still the same because it is upper class limit 25 10.5 minus 19.5 the class size is still 10 so this will be 19.5 plus this will be 16 divided by 16 multiply by 10 like that and this will give 19.5 plus this will be 10 and this will give 29.5 now we have q3 and we have q1 so q3 is here yeah, uh, Q3 is here. So we have Q3 there. And then we have Q1 is there. So now we can proceed and get the quartile deviation. So quartile deviation is therefore uh, Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2. And this will be Q3 is uh, 52 minus Q1 is 29.5. And then everything divided by 2. Uh, working out this one using um, a calculator 52 subtract 29.5 divided by 2 you get 11.25 as the solution and that is uh, simply how you're supposed to calculate the quartile deviation of a grouped data thank you